what are you thinking broader now? I mean, again, maybe putting your old HR leadership consulting hat on. What do you think HR leaders really need to be thinking about over the next 12 to 24 months? And in relation to that, what would be your biggest concern and what do you think the biggest opportunity is? Mm -hmm. Uh, so I don't do predictions, David. So that's that's in your area. Uh, <laughs> but uh, and I like how you did predictions this year about bringing in a, a, a variety of thought leaders. Far uh, more knowledgeable I, people than me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but it's great. It's curate. You curate. It's is really helpful for me. I have to say. Um, I hope you realize that like that curation and bringing that in, distilling it, making it interesting and entertaining is super helpful uh, for me and, and for my team. And it really sparks some some ideas about how we should be thinking. So it's a valuable skill here. Yes. Um, here's my opinion. Just my opinion. I think um, we need to uh, and I'm <laughs> you're, you're you're going to be surprised. We need to go back to the basics, right? Do we have a discipline around our workforce planning practice? Are we getting the best hires in onboarding them effectively? Are we taking care of our managers and setting them up for success, especially managers this year? They've gone through so much um, burden and sometimes trauma and they're, they're, they've been flip flopped from a you know, great resignation to fully remote to, to burnout to, you know, a, a lot of uh, shifts in the marketplace and uncomfortable perspective about what the future looks like, right? There's a lot of burden there. Um, the last thing I would say is just keep in mind that I think that uh, em our employees, um, you know, our, our workforce is, has gone through a lot over the last couple of years and we need to continually focus on the employee experience. Um, and not make short-sighted decisions because in 18 months, the, the landscape's gonna look different, but people remember the decisions that you make. Um, and so, you know, the companies who, who navigate this well right now are gonna be set up for success and emerge in a really good position in the next couple of years. In this series, we will be speaking to a range of senior leaders who are pushing a data-driven and digital HR agenda. Make sure that you subscribe by your podcast app of choice and also via our YouTube channel for free and regular interviews with the digital HR leaders of the future.